Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Yeah, somebody's definitely having a hard time letting something go. Tell me more. The Five of Swords. Mm. Somebody could be having a hard time letting go, like releasing like feelings of anger, resentment, sadness, whatever. Because somebody betrayed them. that could, Or somebody's having a hard time letting go of some type of like tumultuous toxic relationship i don't know clarify the five of pentacles lessons so it says separation is necessary learning divine lessons so i'm gonna get another clarifier on that in a second clarify the two of wands the ace of pentacles so somebody needs to figure out what the hell they want they need to figure out who they want to settle down with or and I feel like they don't know who they want to do that with, who they really want to commit to, who they want to offer stability to. Hmm. It's like someone's holding off on offering commitment or just making a decision. Clear about, clear, clear, what was I about to say? Clarify Frozen. Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody is like going through it in a situation, but for some reason they're finding it hard to let it go at the same time clarify the five of swords the wheel of fortune so fate and destiny change in your love life okay so let's start getting some clarifiers clarify the five of pentacles and lessons so we have the six of wands so somebody has successfully learned a lesson here with the six of wands somebody has successfully learned a lesson some of you guys are being okay with being in separation from somebody. Like you finally got to that point where you can you can be in separation from somebody. Like you can you can deal with have you know if, if they're not acting right, they're not treating you right, if they're not offering you what you deserve, that you're okay with rejecting that person or leaving that person out in the cold, walking away from that person. Um, so kudos to you for that one. Um, there's also a lesson for this person to learn in being left out in the cold. So, like, they need to learn a lesson. Like, they need to think about why am I being rejected? Why? Because it's like, yeah, it's almost like this person's needing to, somebody's needing to realize why it is that you're not taking them back or why it is that you're not talking to them or you're leaving them behind. It's forcing this person to really do some introspection is what I'm getting. But Spirit says you have learned a lesson here. You've learned some type of lesson. Tell me what the five, you guys have like left a situation. Yeah, seven of swords because whoever this person was that you guys left behind or left out in the cold or rejected, this person was deceptive. They were light. They were being sneaky. They could, they were being a cheater. They, yeah, they were either cheating on you or cheating on somebody else. Like there was some type of deception and I feel like Spirit says that, like, you were you were able to recognize this, okay? That this person was being slick or whatever they were trying to do. All right? So, again, congratulations. You've learned the lesson. So, what's this Five of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune? We have Taming Hunger. So, it says Taming a Player. So, I kind of feel like somebody isn't going to be able to get away with the mind games and the, the toxicity, the betrayal, the deception, the cheating. They're not going to be able to get away with this anymore. Because this Taming Hunger card literally says um, Taming a Player. So you being willing to walk away from somebody, cut them off, reject them, is actually creating some type of change here with the Wheel of Fortune. Give me another one. The Emperor. Yeah, it's the masculine energy. Tell me more. We have the Devil Capricorn energy. I'm telling you, look at this. The Emperor Aries energy and the Devil Capricorn energy. This The masculine in this dynamic is toxic okay this person's a player this person is deceptive they're a liar they're a cheater they're they play mind games they're toxic all right they could even have an addiction or some type of destructive habit behavior they don't know how to love people the right way there's a lot here um and of, of course this is a twin flame reading so you guys do have a deep connection with this person so i'm also drawn to how this card says trying to resist temptation so it's hard for you to stay away from this person you know twin flames tug on each other's energy you feel each other right so it's hard to and of course just the depth of the connection you it's hard for you guys to stay away from this person even if they're not good for you and that's something that you will only really understand 
if you've been in this type of connection, okay? So, and I really feel like that's because you know this person past the toxicity, the, the addiction, the whatever they got going on that's not great, right? You know them deeper than that. You know them on a deeper level than that. Um, but part of your lessons on the twin flame journey is being able to, cause that's what, that's what gets you in trouble on the twin flame journey is knowing this person at their core, the person that they're at at their core is not always who they're, who they are presenting themselves to be or how they're moving in the 3d, right? You know them like on a 5d level, right? But their 3D self is not always in alignment with the 5D self. Does that make sense? So it's like part of your lessons is to come to terms with the 3D reality of the person. If they're in their 5D energy in the 3D, awesome. But a lot of times it doesn't start out that way. And whoever this person is, the current reality of the situation is that they're toxic. They have an addiction. They're destructive. They're not good for you. So that's part of your lessons is to learn that discernment, right? And to set boundaries and to walk away and to, that's what people don't understand. They're like, oh, my twin is gonna be, for some reason people have this weird, um, they have this weird perception that like when you meet your twin flame, it's like this perfect fairy tale relationship. No, actually twin flame relationships are the most difficult. It's, it's, it's a journey. That's why it's called the twin flame journey. <laughs> so it's just, it's not, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. it's it can be very triggering it triggers all of your unhealed aspects okay um so that you can recognize them and you know work on those things and once you guys work both work on those things that is when union is possible but you guys have to both choose to work on those things and you have to remember that you have free will and they do too but um in this case, I see that you learning your lesson is also aiding in this person learning their lesson because this is one of those situations where you had to stop letting this person get away with things. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, look, rejection. So I think that this masculine, somebody got rejected. I feel like this person was rejecting you too. Cause you see how like in this picture, the mat, the man is, is like holding his, his hand up to the, to the feminine right here. So it's like, I think this person was resisting you and rejecting the connection with you or they still are to some degree. And spirit is saying, okay, you got to come to terms with the fact that, you know, that's the current reality of the situation. They're not wanting to meet you as deeply as you're ready to meet them or they're not ready to meet you at a deep level. Okay. Because they haven't really met themselves deeply. Okay. Um, yeah, we have third, we have three of swords. I'm telling you, this person is very emotionally immature here with the page of cups. That's why they're resisting this connection. Like I just said, they're, they're not used to a, a connection of this depth, right? Of this extent. I don't know how to say it, but they're not. So we have judgment here, Scorpio energy. So yeah, three of swords and ghosting. They could have ghosted you for a third party or there could be a third party that they have unfinished business with. Like they haven't closed out a cycle with this person. Hmm. All right, why is judgment here? The ten of swords. So somebody's making a decision. Ace of wands. The children card. What about children? Page of wands. What about page of wands? And the date card. So what about children though? Dark night of the soul. Someone's healing their inner inner child or something like that. Yeah, two of cups on the back of the deck. Injustice. I mean, from what I can see, at some point, you know, if you want it, this you and this person will be able to come together. It's, I feel this person, like, there's going to be, like, an ending between you and this person or, like, at least an ending of a cycle. They're going to end up making a decision here. I feel like with the page of cups and the judgment card, that's definitely energy to me of somebody coming back, wanting another chance, wanting to resurrect something, wanting to make amends. But this is after this person betrayed you and you have some type of painful ending with them. And possibly after they go through the dark night of the soul, after a period of disconnection and, um, you know, you guys not speaking, they're going to, but it's like, there's something here with children. 
Or it could be just like they need to heal their inner child. Um... So what changes are coming about now with this Wheel of Fortune energy? We have internal conflict. So it says remain in the darkness or embrace the light. Okay, so what about it? Mirroring, yeah. A mirage calling for you to go within, okay? And Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, and the Eight of Cups. See, somebody's walking away from something. What does this mean for my collective? The Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups? Not the Eight of Pentacles. I was just saying that. The Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. Uh, who? What about this Queen of Cups? Cold as ice. Inconsiderate behaviors giving you mixed signals. Justice and the in the Three of Wands. Huh. The Queen of Pentacles and yeah, walking away, leaving the past behind, seeking deeper meaning. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is still... They could be conflicted between an earth sign and a, a water sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Juggling wing options. Trying to figure out which one is the best one for them or the best path or whatever option. So what does this mean for my collective? What are they going to end up doing here? So we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. And we have the Rift Apart. This person is starting to feel vulnerable or they're going to be vulnerable with you. Cannot be trusted with what? False promises. Yeah, long wait. Putting your life on hold is going to take a while. Yeah, they're going through like a period of time where they're kind of like going through an ego death or something. Eight of Swords. Yeah, feeling trapped. What about Eight of Swords? Somebody can't get out of their head. Page of Wands. Healing. Accepting to grow. Yeah. Are they, so is that what they're going to do? Or what are they about to do here? Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords and the Hanged Man. Their perspective is changing. And now what? The Empress. What about the Empress? Taurus Energy. They want to work. They're, they're, their perspective is going to change at some point. And they're going to feel like they want to work on things with you. Like They want to see if you guys can make this work. They're going to want to try to have equal give and take with you because they feel like you're somebody that they fear losing. They don't want to lose you. Yeah, what's you wants you back moving in a line. At some point, this person is going to start wanting to fight, like being afraid that they've lost you, wanting you back. It's like they're having like a change of heart or a change of mind here, like where they may be acting like it's okay that the two of you are apart or whatever. They're okay with it. They're like resisting change or whatever and then at some point they're going to have a shift in perspective and feel like you know what actually wait i don't want to lose the collective so what is making them have this change in perspective the high priestess pisces energy and the date okay and we have the here font and the ten of wands time invitation okay the here font what about the ten of wands the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I don't like this. Just messed up my cards. What about the Knight of Wands? Five of Cups. They're they're gonna it's, I just see them being in this energy of regret. They could have even gotten into some type of commitment where they feel very burdened, that they're with somebody possibly that they're very burdened or they have a lot of responsibilities. I don't know. But with the Five of Cups, they're in this regretful energy for being lustful or taking some type of risk. So what is changing things, though? Something is changing. What is changing things? Different. What about Forbidden, Unawakened, and Knight of Cups? What about Knight of Cups, the waiting and hiding feelings? Yeah. And um, what's the tea? Somebody could be coming in. To just try to scope out the situation with you. To just see like. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be trying to come towards you. Knowing that they shouldn't be coming towards you. That's the problem. They know that they should not be coming towards you right now. They could have been waiting for you to come back. But it's like they're coming back towards you, hiding their true feelings, emotions, intentions. Wanting to know what's going on with you. Like, wanting to know what's up with you. And how's that turning out for them? The Knight of Pentacles and the Sun and... 
Okay, this is a lot. Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. See, the sword is coming in to maybe see if you're available or you're single. And they may feel like they can't get a good read on that. I don't know. They may feel like they can't tell. Um, hmm, where's that deck? Not that one. Oh, hold up, guys. I cannot pick up this deck. Goodness. Got it. All right. What is happening next and what is causing the shift? What is the shift? Because something is changing. It's like all of a sudden this person is going to change their mind suddenly. We have miracles, so... It says, Mir miracles are unfolding, blessings are surrounding you, luck is on your side. Tell me more. Radiant sun, confidence, success, enthusiasm, optimism, and fulfillment. So that's what you guys have coming in. So what is, so is it just, what is happening here? We have missed, yeah, stuck, stagnation, delays, and setbacks. What about that? So I feel like you guys, yeah, so Spirit says they've been kind of like, not holding you back, but they've been kind of keeping you in this. You've been going through a rebirth process, whether you know it or not. Like you've been going through the dark night of the soul. You've been going through like a self-discovery period. Um, maybe this is also what this person needs to go through as well before. Because somebody is stuck here or things have been, been stagnant. But Spirit is saying that things have been stagnant or there's been delays or like you may feel like stuck, like you, you're not able to get where you want to be or you're not able to get into the relationship you want to get into and things like that. But it's because Spirit says you had to go through this self-discovery process first. You had to go through this rebirth process. So now what? We have ghosted. Cut off abruptly, lack of closure. Feel. See, somebody feels rejected by you. Or maybe this person rejected you and then like it sent you into the dark night of the soul and now they're feeling rejected by you. Let's see, ghosted. Deep wisdom. Yeah, you can see the truth clearly. Be wise and pay attention. I'm telling you, there's somebody here that you guys are like not speak. You ghosted them or you rejected them or something like that, that you can now see clearly that they're deceiving you or that something is going on. Tell me more. Closed off. Emotional blocks. Avoiding emotional connection. Guarded. So we have roll the dice. Okay. And do what? A loyal companion. So we have loyal and devoted, unconditional love, protection. This also kind of gives me that. So it's like, I feel like you guys are going to end up cutting somebody off. And then, yeah, you have wish fulfillment coming in. What is the risk being taken here? Somebody's going to take a risk and express something or somebody feels the urge to express themselves. Tell me more. Ocean of tears because, yeah, you're going to like get a message from this person one day and they're going to be, like, super emotional and, like, like somebody's just going to kind of come towards you, like, spilling their guts at some point. Yeah, emotional loss. Like, it's like somebody is going to get to the point where they feel like they can't hold back their feelings and emotions any longer. Like, they can't, like, they're, they're in this energy of feeling they made mistakes. They feel heartbreak, sadness, regret, like, defeat. And it's like... Somebody's going to come towards you and tell you this at some point. And, it, it's, they're, and it's like, this, whatever this is, it's like wish fulfillment. Tell me more. Beauty and the Beast and Jealous One. So this person feels like you're too good for them. But and it's like they, they think you're so good that they're also very, like this person's possessive over you. They don't want anybody else to have you, even though they feel like they're not even good enough to have you. Yeah, you guys are in this energy where you know your value and your worth, your self-worth. 
yeah, one of a kind hard. To, you guys know that you're irreplaceable or they know that they know you're irreplaceable. Yeah, light in the way, setting an example, the light of their life, setting strong boundaries. I'm telling you, you guys are in this energy of setting these boundaries. Like, you know your worth. You know that you're irreplaceable or like they will never find another you. I'm not saying that they can't find another good person, but they will never find another you. They will never find another twin flame, right? So, um, yeah, one of a kind. That's why they feel like they'll never meet anybody else like you. It's almost like, so what is making this person come in with this crying and stuff? Because it looks like that's what's about to happen. Unhealthy choices. And we have circus in town. And see, somebody has a lot going on behind, or... I'm getting a couple different things with this, okay? Yeah, they're going through karma, justice, balance, mutual benefit. Yeah, not the right time. So it's not the right time for you and this person to come together. They're not, they have to be in an energy where they're willing to be vulnerable with you. But I feel like this person also knows that they're running out of time to do that for you, or that's how they feel at least. So with this calm storm, unhealthy choices and circus in town, this person is pretending. Like they're trying to act like they're like, they're calm and everything's okay and calm, cool, collected. But this is what they've got going on behind the scenes. We have unhealthy choices, bad eating habits, focus on your health, careful when what you let in. They could have let somebody, or this is you guys being careful. Maybe this person feels like you are being this way. You don't want anything to do with this person's drama and chaos. Like someone's in this energy of making healthier choices for themselves. And what does that mean for this person? Is it them or what does that mean for this person? right here waiting see they yearning and longing so somebody's yearning and longing for you while you're in this energy of staying away from them and not letting them trigger you or control you or whatever not reacting to their negativity they're over there yearning and longing for you because you're staying away from them because you don't feel like they're healthy for you yeah lustful desires sexual chemistry infatuation oh my gosh and we have sacrifice a difficult decision aligning priorities so somebody has to give up some type of like lifestyle that they live that is lust driven. Like this is a person that like I said has a sex addiction or they're in a connection with somebody that is just lust based. There's something like that that's going on. They would have to give up that lifestyle, get their shit together to be able to have this connection with you. Yeah, but this person wants to sleep with you. Okay, I'm telling you. Wow, guys, this person, it's like... I don't know how to say this the right way because I don't want to make it seem like this person only wants you for this reason. But this person definitely, if you've been intimate with this person, even if you haven't been intimate with them, they do desire you in that way. And there is something, they're craving that with you a lot. And I think that's actually, this person's like in drought or they're missing having that with you. And it's kind of like making this person, okay, well, you know, if the collective won't let me have access to them unless I'm coming towards them correct, then I guess I'm going to have to come towards them correct. And that's not the only reason. Um, but yeah, so I feel like somebody, they feel like not only do they like have good sexual chemistry with you, but they also feel like they have love for you. It's like, it's both things and yeah, an offer of love, old fashioned value chivalry. Yeah. Fears and insecurities. Things are not as they seem. What is, what's yet to be revealed with the moon for you happily choosing to stay single and religious factors. What does that do with the moon? manifestation sacred emerald yeah divine love receiving abundance heart chakra activation what is yet to be revealed twin flame see life forever change yin and yang yes they are your twin flame so somebody's not seeing that yet or what is that see we have breakup divorce clearing away the old cutting something or someone off so what's that do with my collective yeah this person's going to be coming towards you in a completely different energy what about the young ancient history Somebody needs to heal from their childhood. Yeah. What about the earlier than her? Her proper offering. Yeah. Somebody feels like you are the one. And they feel like they want to come towards you and offer you something solid. But I feel like you guys are going to be spending some... You're choosing to stay single. Like, you can maybe choose to deal with this person. But you're choosing to stay single over dealing with this person. And that's honestly... And it's because you've learned some type of lesson here. And it's actually 
it's like you're stepping into your power. Yeah, everything is flowing easily. It's like when you no longer settle, like settle for bad, uh, like shitty offers or subpar subpar offers. There's something coming in for you. Like when you're you're like literally choosing to stay single or not have to, to deal with this person. Like they would if you you know, but they would yeah. Carelessness, whatever attitude, negligence, and attentiveness, not playing your cards right. Great admiration, ident idealizing and denying flaws, feeling they're out of your league. So somebody acts like they don't care because, <laughs> but they actually want to, they would like to revive this connection with you. But they just know, there's a lot of love here, but they just know, they feel like you're their perfect match. But they just, what is this on a pedestal? I put you on this pedestal. Photographs. Yeah, going back to something the past returns and epiphany. I don't I can't make it up, guys. Like at some point this person's gonna realize something about you and they're gonna come back to you. They're gonna take action towards you. Yeah. And what? And what is that leading to? This epiphany, them returning, them taking action. We have to use your head. So you will have to make a decision. Yeah, it says, don't let emotions control you. Think logically and rationally. Give it some thought. Yeah. See, because you guys have some negative. This person hurt you. Yeah. They procrastinated for a long time. Something could be happening around the solar eclipse. I keep saying that. I've been saying that since the fall time. But this card literally says on it, powerful changes of heart. Like, it's like something is going to be changing. One more. What's triggering the, the change? One more. Somebody feeling like they're about to run out of time. Bottled up, holding back, punch of emotions, calm and collected. The cosmos aligned with the universe. I swear somebody thinks that because you're not like chasing after them or getting all emotional with them or going off on them or whatever the hell you're doing, you're not taking their offer, you're not falling into temptation with them, that that means that you're it's because you're you're getting offers from other people or something like that but it's actually because you're just getting you've raised your vibration yeah unfoldment spiritual awakening breaking free and blooming connecting with your higher self yeah completion yeah you guys have gone through the awakening yeah you guys have gone through the awakening i've gone through the awakening i've gone through